Hey guys, it's a beautiful day for music. It's a wonderful day for sound. Before we get into this lick here today, I want to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons over at patreon.com. You can check out the link in the description if you want to become a supporter of the page, if you want to get a little bit of some behind the scenes goodies um, and get the PDFs to a lot of the stuff and a lot of the back backing tracks and things. Let's jump into it. So right here from the beginning, I have this idea of these big, open, delicious doubles. And I'm, I'm gonna be rebounding those, just ba, 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 ba. Let's try those right from the beginning, just the first two counts. Two, ready, and. Two, ready, and. And notice that I'm actually keeping the, the two left hands down in order to prepare for what's gonna come up next for the left hands. But my right hands, I am gonna be rebounding those because I have more big notes that's gonna happen right after this. Let's try it twice more. Two, ready, and. Two, ta, ta, ti, 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 ta. Beautiful. What I have here next coming up is what some people, I guess, would refer to the sticking as an egg beater, but it is a five lip, but it's a nice open and just dripping wet five. It's just big and slow. And what I wanted to do is, is to have a little bit of extra push of energy coming from these eighth notes going into the five. So it's only kind of kicks it up kind of one little notch. I'm not pushing too much as far as the density of notes yet. So let's practice the fives just by itself at one height and then we'll start to spread out or add contrast to the heights. So all it is is one, two, three, four, five, one. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, one. Again, one, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. Right, 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 left, left, right. This time, I'm gonna keep that right hand the same height, but I'm gonna bring down the left hand. Two, ready, and ba, 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 ba. Two, ready, and ba, 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 ba. Now, when I'm playing those little two left hands, just because they're small doesn't make them not important. So I still really wanna make sure I'm turning that wrist, have a nice articulate but open sounding two left hands. Let's try it again. Two, ready, and ba, 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 ba. two, ready, and. Let's bigger right hand. Two, ready, and. Two, ready, and. Yeah, ready, and. Cool. Let's back that up now and take. Two, ready, and. Two, ready, and. Hey, and. Cool. What happens after that now is I have this hemiola triplet. So it's a triplet that's spread out. It's based off of kind of a quarter note um, idea, quarter note triplet. Now, even though it's based off of a quarter note, I'm going to be subdividing things in between there. So if this is my tempo, I'm still going to hear this kind of behind the scenes here. And that sort of eighth note triplet idea is kind of running in the back of my brain while I'm playing this particular rhythm. Yeah. So what happens on the first two counts of this business is I have that accent coming out of that big open five, just boom. And then I have this nice little kind of pressed buzz stroke here. Nice and small, doesn't have to be too long, it's not too short, it's kind of right in the middle as far as the articulation or the length of the actual note. Coming out of that, I have 16th notes based off of that last uh, quarter note there. So, but that is a big da da And other than that, I'm just bringing out that last left hand of the 16th note that's on the last partial. So, yeah. Now, if you're having some problems with that, what I would suggest that you do 
is back it up and just take those 16th notes kind of by itself. So check out what's on the right hand. Both of those, those two right hands are, are the same height. And then I have that accent coming right after that. I'm very specific when I have this type of motion, this sort of inverted two low notes going into a big note fairly quickly as far as how quick the, the notes happen one after another. I'm very specific with turning my wrist back to make sure that I can get that accent that comes right after. And here's the hard part for some of us is that I don't wanna add too much extra or unnecessary tension when I'm actually playing that type of skill set. So I don't wanna start <clears throat> like squeezing or really trying to like slam it in or have like my whole body um, sort of tense up when I do that. I just want the sound to be louder. I don't wanna change the characteristic shape of the particular sound. So something to practice, still getting a good chunky accent, but then moving our hands quickly without the tension. Something else that might be a little bit of an issue for some people is getting that left hand, getting that left hand back and, and, and in time when I have that last accent. So what I, what I end up doing for situations like that is just practice playing all of it at the same height first. Let's do it. That feels good, baby. <laughs> and then what I'm going to start to do is kind of push those accents just a little bit. So they're not big accents yet. They're only like a mezzo forte. And then I'll add some more juice. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take that back now and add it on to the beginning. So bum 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 ba oh stick the gada two ready and oh two ready and yo cool cool moving on along here I have the same exact type of phrase that I just kind of played around with with that egg beater five in the second half of the first measure but that that same kind of idea is coming back here just presented in a little bit of a more dense kind of situation. So I have this triplet all on the right hand, and then I have those two notes here, and then I have the third partial of that as a rim shot. So triplet, triplet here, and then releasing on my left hand nice and small. Let's practice that nice and slow at first. Triplet, triplet, uh, and then we'll kind of get a little bit faster too. Ready and uh, ti ta ta ti 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 do cat on two ready and big 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 do do cat on making sure I rebound that right hand and boom 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 cat on two ready and boom 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 do do cat on you got it ready and boom 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 cat on two da 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 do 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 cat on two da 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 do 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 cat on two da 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 <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let's back that up now and start on that hemiola triplet. So da uh stick it to the two cat on two ready and da us two ready and da us two ready and da us two ready and da oh two ready and oh cool let's back that up now and take it from the top so ta 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 Two, 
cool, cool, cool. Uh, my right hand sort of moved out of its playing position then, so the, the timbre of the sound or the color of the sound kind of started to change. I'll be sure to kind of pay attention to that the next time here. I was having too much fun. Anyways, so starting on the left hand with this triplet roll that's right on the downbeat of one here in this next measure, and I am releasing on an accented note starting on, 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 on beat two of that particular measure. What I'm listening for here is making sure that the triplets going into that 16th or duple kind of figure is nice and even um, as far as the, that rhythmic shift and things. Technically, my hands are moving faster for the 16th notes, but the notes are further spread out, right? But if I'm playing this triplet roll, that business, da -ka -da -ka -da -ka -da, my hands are really only moving in triplets. Triple it, uh, triple it, uh, triple it, uh. Even though the 16th notes that come after it don't have doubles, it's gonna still feel in my hands. It's gonna feel fast. It's gonna feel more energetic, mainly because my base motion of my hands are actually moving faster. Yeah, so it's definitely something to think about. And there is more of a dynamic component because I'm pushing out just more volume on that second beat. Let's start that nice and slow. Let's play the first two beats. Ta da 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 You got it. And two, ready, and two, ready, and two, ready, and two, ready, and Back that up now, and let's take it from the hemiola triplet. Two, ready, and. Two, ready, and. Cool, cool, cool. Let's move along here. So this last part, all that's happening is just a repeat of kind of the main motive. The main motive is this idea of having this three big note, two small note, sort of rhythmic tidbit, yeah? And that's gonna come back here at the end just to kind of tie up the bow of this little sort of lick or this little composition, however you kind of want to uh, view it here. So same exact thing that's happening coming out of the 16th notes, da 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 and then those three big notes, two small notes, shot, and then last note, bam, on that left hand, and you can do whatever you want to after that and stuff. Let's back that up now and start right on the triplet roll that's on that left hand. And let's take that whole measure, yeah? One, two, ticka 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 ta. Ticka 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 Two, ready, and. Ticka 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 Two, ready, and. Ticka 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 Two, ready, and. Ticka 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 Two, ready, and. Beautiful. Let's back that up all the way to the beginning. Once again, just want to give one more shout out to my patrons. I really appreciate you guys and all the stuff that you do. Uh, if you're not a part of the team, come on and join and support percussion, specifically rudimental percussion education everywhere. And uh, let's take it from the beginning nice and slow, and then we'll kind of slowly speed it up just a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. One, two, ready, and. Two, 
more time. And <laughs> cool. Once again, it's a beautiful day for music and it's a wonderful day for sound. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuce.